Hey, welcome to Plus Parks and Attractions. And today we're in Scarborough having a look around some of the tourist places which are plus size friendly. And we're at the moment, we're at P Zone Park. I'm going to have a look around the park and see what there is to do. Will you join me? Got pedalos, rowing boats, canoes. The Pizone Island, which is uh, Oriental Gardens, Putting Green, 18 old mini golf, cafe, and public conveniences, and a nice Glen Tree Trail walk and uh, walk along the lakeside. It's been a favourite spot for visitors in Scarborough since 1912. It's still got a lot of activities. You can go on tree trails, go on the boating lake. We've got bandstand, cafes, toilets, putting green. There's a pagoda in the centre around the Oriental Garden, which we'll look at later. We've got ornamental, ornamental ponds and the 18 hole pitch and put golf course. Like I say, it's got this Chinese, Japanese type feel theme into it. Got the dragon boats for pedalos. Quite a nice half an hour, hour on a sunny day. Following the oriental theming of P Zone Park. So we've got the main lake at P Zone Park. So can you have a Canadian geese? So we've got dragon boats in the distance. There's plenty of grey squirrels in the park. There's digging for his nuts or looking to find somewhere he's buried. Hello, very friendly. Where are you going? I haven't got any notes for you, mate. Hello. We'll leave him be. So we're just going to have a walk around the Glen Tree Trail at Pizone Park. So we probably walked maybe about 10 minutes around the lake and then the Glen Tree Trails probably another 10 minute walk around a more themed area, more wooded trees. Little waterfalls from a larger lake. So we are in autumn now. So we've got the autumn colours of the trees coming through. This is a slight elevation, but as you can see the paths are well tarmacked and even, easy to walk on. Got a number of different sculptures wooden sculptures carved out around the park. All in the distance was uh, an owl. I was picking out that sculpture is very good. So you can zoom in a little bit on that owl. It's 
can just see the wooden owl sculpture in the distance peeping through the woods. I wish him well. It's a wooden carving of one of the squirrels. So the Glen Tree Trail has a lot more wooded areas. Maybe you can see more squirrels as you walk around them. They also have a lot more smaller ponds and Japanese theming around this area waterfalls you can very nice on a hot summer's day to come around this area so this part of a Glen Tree Trail is continuing with continuing with the Chinese theme plenty of ducks and seagulls So we just completed our walk around Pizone Park. It's not very big, maybe 10-15 minutes walk at a decent pace. Just to give you an example, I've done roughly 3,000 steps so far. I haven't gone up to the Oriental Garden yet, so I guess that's another couple of thousand steps, but it's also, it is actual steps to go up there. You're actually going up that hill there, where the top of the waterfall. So if you have got mobility issues or a plus size and can't walk very far, maybe that's an area that you shouldn't maybe try, but the rest of the park is very accessible and easy to walk around and there's plenty of seating as you'll have seen as we've walked around. So we have got a cafe here at Pizone Park, it's short of a moment because it is a weekday off season. Following that Chinese theme throughout the park as you see plenty of seating which is also overlooking the bandstand in summer months they do have bands music concerts from that pagoda and as you can see you've got the waterfall and the Chinese temple in the background The Oriental Bridge of a boating lake. So you got a bandstand, dragon boats, plenty of seating in the over there, plenty of seating. So you've got internal Japanese walk around the island. This is just leading onto the boating lake where you can go around the island on your pedalos or rowing boats. So we've walked around P-Zone Park around the outside and that was about 3,000 steps. Now we've gone over the bridge and we're going to have a look around the Oriental Island. Now this island, as well as having more steps, it is a little bit more uneven ground. It's still paved, but it is more uneven and there will be some steps if you come over to the Oriental Garden.
you can see the large lake and the dragon boats all the seating for the music venues when we do concerts on the lake and over here we're at the other side looking at the waterfall on the Oriental Island It's a lovely sunny day today end of September so we're going to make it all the way up there so as I said there will be a few steps if you come over here if you have got some mobility issues So if you do want to make it up to the top of the Oriental Island, top of a waterfall, there is quite a few steps, maybe about 30, 40 steps going up to the Oriental Island, so will you follow me? Entrance into the Oriental Garden, the garden walls. Actually got some fish in the pond. So some goldfish. Can I see any carp? So there is some seating once you get up to the ornamental gardens. So I think I'm just going to sit here and have a rest after climbing them 30 to 40 steps and relax in this peaceful garden. So if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the latest updates and videos that plus size people can do, activities that plus size people can do. Whoa, crocodile! Don't know if you have alligators or crocodile in Japan or China. It looks like the pagoda is blocked off for the time being. It looks like they're maybe doing some restoration work. And you see the dragon boats down below. So I'll end our vlog for today. At P Zone Park in Scarborough. Very plus size friendly, lots to do and see, lots of nice walks. I wouldn't recommend going up to the Oriental Garden on the island as it's quite a few steps, quite steep as well, and the ground's a bit uneven. But if you can make it, if you feel that like you want to come up here, it is definitely worth the hike up. The gardens are beautiful as you can see. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel plus parts and attractions see me on the next one